it's not all about you know going out and thrashing your cell and 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 working hard all the time. Sometimes you've you just got to take a step back and run a little bit easier and take a little bit more in. You know, just explore a little bit more. The bad weather is just some uh, thriving, and you know, uh, to, not always, but you know, I'll probably pick bad weather over a, a good day, a good weather day on the fells. Um, it's just a, it makes things a lot more interesting and a lot more testing, so putting your body through a bit more. You know, I'm, I, I class myself as a West Cumbrian and northerner and you know I'm from Cumbria and that's where I'll always be probably <laughs> yeah so th this is Buttermere this is where I spend most of my time training um, it's probably the, 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 the closest fells uh, to where I live uh, there's a horseshoe what I call like the Buttermere horseshoe uh, you can you can easily extend it or make it shorter if you want, but uh, uh, it's quite a popular route. Um, you set off from the edge of the lake and up onto Red Pike up the top there in the cloud. Um, you come along the tops, uh, High Style, Scarth Gap, uh, onto Haystacks, and then over to Honister. And just up in the cloud, you've got Fleetwith Pike. Um, you drop down over the over the pass, and then on the on the return leg, you've got Daled. Uh, in Scarth and Robinson with a, a steep descent back into to Buttermere. So I've, got, I've got a connection with the Lake District and the, the Lakeland Fells and you know I don't think that that'll never change you know it's it's a place where I spend most of my time, you know, a lot of time by myself up on the fells and, you know, it's those experiences what you, you sort of, you sort of build memories of and, you know, it, it, is, a, it is a comforting thing and that's why I, I probably love it so much. I think if you're going to visit somewhere, you should learn part of the history and learn part of the culture. And I think that's that's a really important uh, important thing to know. I think when I'm out on the fells that. It's a, it's a lot of thinking time, um, which sometimes isn't a great thing, but but sometimes it is. And I feel as though once, I, once I've had a run and been out on the fells for a, a couple hours and I come back, I feel as though there's a, there's a, there's a weight lifted off my shoulder. And it, it's, it's, it's the same every time. I, I find it fascinating that the Lake District holds so much um, history and, and hidden secrets and sometimes you've just got to, you know, go off the beaten track or, you know, open your eyes a little bit more to, to, fi to find them and, you know, it's just something I find fascinating that so much, so much on my doorstep. I love the, the feeling of being in a wide open space with nobody else around and, you know, I try to avoid them sort of, them popular areas or, you know, the, the place where the, the Instagrammers want to go to get the pictures. When things do get tough and, you know, the weather's horrible and you're getting cold, you soak through. I know, I know for a fact that you know it's not, it's not going to kill us, but I, but I do believe that you know weather like that and a 
experiences like that and what you put your body through makes you makes you stronger um, and I like to think I you know I'm, I am from the north I'm a lot tougher tougher than the, the southerners and um, some of the people who visit the lakes you know we uh, shorts all year for us lot. <laughs>